Hey, how's it going, everybody? If you're new here, welcome in. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Roll Shambo, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And today I've got one that I was I'm actually very excited for. This is the Artisan Cutlery, or excuse me, the CJRB Bowie Pyrite. And here's the deal I released a video about a year ago. It's almost been 12 months since I released the video that I made on this guy. This is the Warney Pyrite, or as I sometimes call it, the Horny Pirate. And in that video, I said that everyone was claiming that this was the best budget button lock, but I disagreed. And I disagreed because there was a few things that I wasn't 100% on with this knife. And it just, it's a good knife, but it wasn't 100% there for me to say that it was the best budget button lock. Since then, I have had the opportunity of checking out many, many CJRB button locks and button locks from other companies. And here's the deal. Have I changed my mind? Do I think that this is the best budget button lock now? No, no, I, I don't. The, the Warney Pyrite is not what I would consider to be the best budget button lock or even the best budget button lock that CJRB makes. It's a very, very great design because it's simplistic and it offers really great features, ease of use, the size, the weight. It is a very, very good budget button lock, but I couldn't call it the best and I wouldn't call this one the best. However, moving on into 2024, they released a version that has what is quite possibly one of my favorite blade shapes ever. I like Warncliffs, I like Sheep's Foot, you know, I like reverse Tontos, but there is something about a Bowie style blade that really tugs the heartstrings. But it's more than that on this knife. It is 100% more than that. And we're going to talk about it. But first, for those who might be uninitiated, let's talk about how much does it cost, what's it made out of, and what's new. To start off with, this is no different than a regular pyrite as far as materials are concerned. We have AR, RPM9, and steel handle scales. They make variants of this that include wood handle scales as well as micarta handle scales. They have a, one that has a finish in a rose gold blade, and you can, of course, get it in the same flat raw steel finish that we have on this Warney Pyrite, which I think looks very, very clean. Now, the Bowie Pyrite, this specific one, comes in a very dark black washed blade and handle skill and i think that it looks great all black minus the button which is a pop of that satin finish which looks fantastic we have a deep carry pocket clip t8 pivot t6 body screws t6 deep carry pocket clip screws and of course milled out handle scales the steel version is going to weigh about 3.8 ounces and it overall is about 7.36 inches long. This whole setup costs $55 on their website. I'll make sure to link it down below if you end up agreeing with me and you think that this is one hell of a knife. What makes this different is, is that on previous iterations of the Pyrite, we had to kind of choose our opening styles. For example, on the Warney Pyrite, we have an opening hole. On the original Pyrite, we had a thumb stud. Some people liked the stud, some people liked the hole, some people just couldn't decide and bought them both, and that's completely fine. However, on the Bowie Pyrite, what we have here is a fuller and a thumb stud. So now we've included a secondary opening option, and I know they say that you know the button is an opening option in itself, but the big difference here, aside from the blade shape, is the fact that you can, of course, fuller flick this, which is awesome. The reason why it's awesome is, is because depending upon where you flick on this fuller, you get more or less detent. And the detent is important on a button lock because there is no ceramic detent ball. It's all based on the pressure in that button. So you have far more leverage if you were to flick further down on the fuller than you would if you were to flick higher up near the thumb stud. So you get more detent higher up closer to the thumb stud and less detent uh, farther down closer to the tip. That means that you can kind of write your own story as far as deployment goes. 
It is running on ceramic bearings, which means that it is extremely smooth and it is a guillotine and it will, of course, drop shut. Ergos on here are going to be exactly the same as they are on all the other pyrites. No issues there. Balance, same story. It, it, it has extremely good balance and it is a nice pokey buoy style tip. And what I like about this is that it has more poke than a drop point style blade and just as much belly. On the Warney Pyrite, it has a little bit of belly and a decent amount of poke, but you only get the deployment hole for the deployment. So there is a lot of things that I liked about this knife. There's a lot of things that I, I wasn't a huge fan of. Something that I experienced on the, the Warney Pyrite, and this is one that I bought by the way, but something that I had experienced was what I called detent lash because it got to a point where I could shake it and I could feel the blade rattling up and down. I thought that that might be a QC issue or something that got overlooked. It turns out that's just what happens when the pivot starts to get a bit loose. And I didn't figure that out till later. I took the knife apart, I put it back together and all of a sudden it was gone. And that's when I figured it out. It's because the pivot got a little loose. So if you have a pyrite of any type and you start to get a little bit of detent lash where this blade start will move up and down and you can literally hear it moving, just tighten the pivot a little bit, it will go away. So happy to report that is not necessarily an issue. This is really enjoyable. And I think that the people that this will really appeal to are those who agree with me and love the buoy style blade. It is 100% an improvement that now we have both thumb studs and a fuller. And even though they don't list the fuller as a deployment option, it 100% is. I've ran polls on my community in the past, and they've told me that they do love reverse flicking their knives. I know that I do. That's my favorite way to deploy a knife. I also like having the option of a thumb stud. Every now and then, it's just more convenient to have a thumb stud. And so having both means that it's going to appeal to both crowds. I also think that this is the best looking blade shape that they've come out with so far. And I also really enjoy this black washed finish that is continuous from handle scales to the blade. There are some things that we see continued on the Pyrite here in 2024 that I wish changed. Uh, the first thing is this pocket clip. And I'm not a huge fan of the way that it looks. The good news is, is that they do sell premium pocket clip replacements that do look a lot better. So that's not a big deal. However, I would love to see them actually carve out some insets for this pocket clip so that it slides into the scale instead of sitting on top of it. We do have flat top screws, which means that there's no issue with clearance in your pocket. And so that's not necessarily a big deal, but I would love it if the clip was flush if they had had a little cutout in the handle skills, that could have made it flush. It would have looked better. It would have functioned better as well. And also, the other thing that I wish that they would change or move away from is T6 body screws and pocket clip screws. I would just love to see them move away from T6 and give us T8 body screws all the way around. And lastly, when can we start seeing backspacers on this model? I would love to have a backspacer. Maybe that's something that we only see on a premium model, but regardless, I would love to see it either way. None of those are deal breakers, especially when we're looking at the price point of $55 for powder steel and an excellent button lock construction that has truly stood the test of time. I don't think that you can go wrong with this. This is 100% a knife that I can recommend. It's extremely fidgety. It looks good. It feels good. And it is very, very well made for what it is. If you agree with me, let me know in the comment section down below. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section down below. But for now, I'm going to say that this is the best CJRB Pyrite that we have seen to date. And I'm excited to see what a premium version of this will look like. Are you going to pick one of these up? Have you already ordered one? If not, why not? Let's have that discussion in the comments section. And if you want to watch more awesome knife and EDC content, go ahead and click on one of the videos that pops up next. Oh,